Hey, it's Mark. In this video, I'm going to show you how to measure your own blood oxygen using an Apple Watch. Um, so if you have low blood oxygen, you know, below 95, 90%, you could get hypoxemia, which is a dangerous condition. The good range is to be like 95 to 99%. So this is important stuff. And it's integrated on Apple Watches Series 6 and above. So if you have a 6 or above, you can do this. Um, so what you do first is you want to go into the app on your iPhone and make sure that you've enabled blood oxygen within the health app. You can go through respiratory to find that. So you can navigate into the health app, respiratory, and then you can go to blood oxygen and enable that. Another way is you can open the health app and you can just browse by typing in the bottom right corner. And within there, um, you just type in blood oxygen. So once you've got that enabled, on your watch you're going to put your arm flat on a table. You're going to get the reading going on your blood oxygen. This usually doesn't happen while you're sleeping unless you've enabled that. You should be moving and active. Um, and then you can see within the app on your iPhone all of your readings, which I'm showing you right here. So th these aren't my actual readings. This is just for the demo. Um, but just remember, you want to be in that 95 to 99 percentile. So to do this, you, again, you need an Apple Watch Series 6 or above. Make sure you've enabled that on your iPhone first. You've put your arm flat on the table. You've activated the readings on your watch, and you should be good to go. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you liked it, give us a like and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you again soon.